Hello guys, my name is Doak and today I'll be playing with this. This is a material called monster clay and as you can see over here it's used for creating of sculptures. I have seen people on the internet doing some really dope stuff with this clay and so I was like I want to try it too. So I got two boxes which cost me about... what's the price of this? Okay, it's not all that expensive. A bucket like this costs about 30 euros, but I had to pay a lot for the shipping. My experience with sculpting is, well, let's say pretty limited. Anyways, I think that I can do a lot better job with this professional material. And so, let's open it. And let's see what I can do. Okay, I expected that this is gonna be hard, but this is like a... The microwave doesn't really help it at all, it's still like a rock, so I'll need to use something else. So, I would say that the heat gun will be my best friend during the work with monster clay. And so right now, please let me create something, um, something simple, something easy, so I get used to this material, and then I will try to create something more advanced. First of all, I didn't really know what I want to create, as uh, I'm not really interested in sculpting. But then I started to think and I thought that it might be interesting to sculpt the diamond effect from my previous video. During that painting I was wondering how the letters would look in reality and Monster Clay is actually giving me an opportunity to see that. Well, if I'm able to sculpt it. The work with this material is quite nice. I can't really compare it with anything else except polystyrene. So yeah, I'm satisfied with it. The biggest problem for me is that I always work on a wall, which is just a flat surface, so you see the painting just from one side. But if you're creating a sculpture, it should look good from all the angles. So it feels like I have three times more work. Alrighty guys, say hey to my very first monster clay sculpture, the E. I just got an idea that I have to create a super cool sunglasses out of this. Anyways, I've tried the monster clay, I like it a lot. And right now it's time to create something solid. I created a sketch, which includes a graffiti style and a character. However, right now, I'm not completely sure how to approach the building of the sculpture. sure what to do right now because the clay is quite warm and looks almost like me 
<sighs> I created a ball, but look, it's... Uh, yeah, I still don't really know what to do with this. So I created this big block that looks like a good base for my sketch. However, the clay is still warm, which is a problem because I'm not really sure how to cool it down. After the highly sophisticated cooling process, our block got a lot harder. If I compare the work with Monster Clay, with the only real sculpting experience that I have, I mean that one with a foam cutter and polystyrene, Monster Clay is a lot lot better. The main advantage is that you can repair whatever you want. While I've been doing what you see right now, the clay was still a little bit warm which made the process pretty easy, but on the other hand, I got a bit worried that it's not gonna be hard enough when it gets cold, which would mean that my sculpture wouldn't stay together and that would be a, uh, that would be a disaster. I made it too small. In the evening at home I've been thinking about the sculpture and I just felt like it's not good enough, it's not big enough and so I decided to improve it, at least I hope so, that it's gonna be an improvement. During the work on the letters, I started to realize that I made a big mistake. And then I googled uh, monster clay and like 99% of all artworks were faces, characters, stuff like that. I didn't find a single, well, graffiti, not in. And there is a reason for it. I mean, the material is really nice, but creation of a letter seems just a lot harder than creation of a character. And so I'm getting quite frustrated because I don't really know where this is going and I'm afraid that it's gonna be ugly. Starting to be a little bit afraid of my own creations. Like, just look at him. Everywhere. 
Day number three. After I've put the sculpture together, I wanted to make it more clean, but I already knew that I won't reach this super clean graffiti look with sharp edges and totally straight shapes because that would just take forever. And so instead I thought that it might be better if I make it more natural. If I give the sculpture more natural texture, maybe... Suddenly, I don't really know how, I realized the way how this should be done. I started to remove the clay with my tools and after the two days of misery, it started to make sense. folks let me just say that like 90% of the time during the creation of this thing I've been fighting my thoughts that were just saying this is gonna look like a shit but right now at the end the feeling has changed fortunately I mean uh, it's interesting at least <laughs> Guys, if you want to know my opinion about monster clay, it's a brilliant material as long as you know what you're doing. So, guys, if um, you know what, just just hit that thumb up, okay? Just hit it because I'm about to show you the final result. So hit it right now. All right, this is.